I read this very fascinating report that you wrote recently called The Old Normal. This was, of course, on 20th of August. Before I delve into it, do you still stand by that report or have you also become uh, a victim of the exuberance, if I may say so? No, I think we are sticking very You're much sticking with, with what, what okay. we've said. So let's go right down into it. Uh, you start by saying the new uncertainty. And you say India's one near given was falling interest rates and inflation with RBI's currency defense that has fallen. That's a very important point that you're making because pretty much all of last year and for a better part of this year, that's what everybody was hoping for, that rate cuts would come, rate cuts would come. What's your own sense now? Yeah, I mean, in, in, in terms of just going back to, uh, to this un new uncertainty that effectively came through, I think you'd seen a fair amount of the market rally in the early part of the year. And a large part of it was really premised on the fact that rates would effectively fall. Now, the rest of it had remained uncertain, be it policy, be it the pace of economic growth, be it earnings. And effectively, with this currency defense, um, you know, that given, as it were, tended to disappear. So you, were, and you ended up with, you know, almost everything being, uh, in some senses, uh, uncertain. To your specific question in terms of where do we see the, the, the rate cycle, our sense is it's going to remain flattish uh, over the next three to six months. That said, my own general view is that because the economy is showing signs of, of slowing and it'll probably slow a little further, uh, at the end of the day, between the demand and supply for money, you'll end up having a little bit more supply because demand is going to be a little slack. And that should ultimately end in a downward bias as far as interest rates are concerned. But very immediately, I think it's just going to be a little flattish. What did you make of uh, the new RBI governor? Uh, he came in all charging. Yeah. Uh, 20th, of course, is when he gives his first policy. Yeah. W what's the sense you're getting from it? A man in urgency? Um, in many senses, you know, the note we did, we really uh, titled it a new mindset, mm. which in some senses gives you uh, an indication of what we think of it. Uh, quite clearly, as far as the central bank governor is concerned, there are two aspects to it. One is the monetary side, the other is the financial sector side. I think clearly, as far as the financial sector side is concerned, I think there is a material difference. I think the bias will be towards much greater growth, taking on a few more risks than the RBI has historically taken on. But I think that will generally be good. A little riskier, but I think, you know, much needed. As far as the monetary side is concerned, you know, he's very clearly said that he's, you, you have to wait for my, for my credit policy. To that extent, you really have to sit back mm -hmm. and uh, wait for what really comes through. To the extent there's been a little greater benchmarking to the CPI vis-a-vis the WPI, mm. I think the, the market is still waiting in judgment to see uh, in which direction it goes. That's one bit. I think at the end of the day, you must recognize that the RBI uh, drives the financial sector, it drives monetary policy, but the economic cycle, the growth cycle, I think has a trajectory of its own. Mm. Uh, monetary policy can help, but it cannot hugely drive or necessarily determine it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Market News.